Shell Grizz Magazine, and I'm interviewing the man of our childhood, the many voices of Futurama characters, the Warner Brothers characters, and the greatest boss battle in gaming, Mr. Freeze, old oh, Bruce LaMarche. <laughs> Good to see you. See you too. <laughs> so, I have a question. Yes, sir. Well, I always start off whenever I interview voice actors. You've had a very diverse career. Very, very diverse. Thank you. And I always start off by saying, what would you, what would your advice be to people who want to get into voice acting? Become a good actor first. Um, as my friend Rob Paulson will tell you, we both have sort of a catchphrase we've come up with. It's not about voice acting, it's about voice acting. Be a good actor, if you know you're a good actor, continue improving your craft. Um, and, you know, because we both came from a background that he was a singer and an actor on camera, I was a stand-up comedian, so we were good at something else, and that helped us get into voice acting. Um, after that, learn to hear yourself on tape, in recordings, though he was a tape uh, you know, but there are workshops that are take place in recording studios, and go there and read commercial copy, read animation copy, that type of thing, and then make a demo. Work with a professional producer, make a professional demo. You said you were a stand-up comedian before you became a voice actor, yeah. and I've noticed a lot of your work does have to do with comedy, whether it be like Futurama, which is adult, or Animaniacs, with people in the brain. Yeah. Did your previous life as a comedian kind of factor into the roles that you get? Very much so. I'm very grateful for my, I mean, I only spent 10 years in stand-up comedy. I was just really starting to get good when I kind of switched careers. But it taught me a lot about comic timing. I think people that, you know, we have a lot of people from the groundlings in our community of voiceover people. Tress McNeil, who's a genius. Uh, Lorraine Newman. Uh, you know, these are people that really know the comedy, the, the, where, the, where the proper beat is to hold for for a laugh. So, yeah, uh, that's another thing I always recommend to people is study, you know, we're in Chicago, Second City, you know, it would be a great place for people to take workshops. Now, I absolutely love Pinky and Brain. I've mentioned it about twice this interview. And I have a question. Um, there's a theory online that Pinky is actually the genius because Brain always messes up his own invention. Is this theory credible or true in any way? Well, my friends, that's why they call it a theory. Yes. No, I, uh, I've always thought that, that in their own way, they're both geniuses. There's, there's one point where Pinky is levitating fruit while Brain is looking. He's just doing it to amuse himself. I mean, obviously that speaks to some sort of gift. And he only does it that one time and never does it again. But, you know, Pinky's thinking is particularly brilliant as well in its own way. I think they're both geniuses. I think they're both insane. How about that for There's good people on both sides. There's good mice on both sides. Oh, God. I can't believe I just did him. Anyway. Uh, final question yes, is, we have the Animaniacs, which I grew up with, and I still sing all the songs to this day, To because I'm in college right now, so I need to remember things. I'm like, Yakko's, like, History of the World, gotta go with it. Yeah. What can you tell us about the new show that's premiering in 2020? I can't tell you anything about it. Any show. Oh, okay. There's nothing, there's nothing I can tell you. I can't even tell you whether or not I'm involved. There are uh, these things called NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. <laughs> so if I, if I had signed one, I wouldn't be able to tell you that I was involved. And if I wasn't involved, I couldn't tell you I wasn't involved. But I can't tell you anything about the show. Unfortunately, except watch it. It's going to be good. If it's, it's going to be, it's going to bring you back your the Animaniacs that you remember as children. That much I can tell you. Whether I'm involved or not, I have faith in these people. It's going to be good. All right. Well, that especially was... Steven Spielberg. I mean, he's helming the thing. Is he? Wow. Yes. Okay. And and you know, it, it's got to be. Good. Well, that was Merle. Maurice Lamarch. Maurice Lamarch. <laughs> I had a future many ice seas. Who may or may not be an Animaniacs 2020. And I'm Jacob Kelly signing off. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Thank you.